Hi, East Brunswick. I'm here today in a part of a township that virtually nobody really visits any longer. Uh, I actually do remember it many years ago. That building right to uh, my right, your left, is the old Wiz building. I actually remember shopping there. Behind me is what used to be the Gap. Uh, and a lot of uh, retail stores that many in town used to frequent regularly. But I could tell you who absolutely has no idea what this is. Any senior that's gonna be graduating next month has never known this area to be the retail establishment that it once was 20, 25 years ago. So clearly uh, we're on a mission, have been for a couple of years now, to redevelop this into whatever that next phase is going to be. So what I wanna talk a little bit about today is the updates on redevelopment here in the township. Uh, and I'm gonna to get to the Route 18 project at the very end, because clearly, as you could see behind me, it is the most critical. Uh, but first, let's start with our first big success, and that is the project on Edgeboro Road, which uh, many of you, if you've had a chance to drive down to the uh, end of Edgeboro Road, uh, will see the brand new 500,000 square foot FedEx building that's been uh, replaced what was once a small little building uh, in the sand pits on Edgeboro Road. That project has actually come to fruition. FedEx actually intends to make this a major last point of service hub, ultimately with uh, electric vehicles, probably the first um, all electric fleet is their plans for that site. And more importantly, what it does to the for the township and for our taxpayers is that it takes a piece of property that was once paying barely $70,000, $75,000 in taxes, and now has converted it through redevelopment and the financial program that we uh, negotiated to be paying upwards of $800,000 for the same property. And when you do that, multiple times throughout the town, like I've promised, it has a stabilizing effect on our property taxes because we're allowing people to finally pay their fair share of taxes and help the burden from being placed on residents. So uh, I think it would be great if you have an opportunity to take a look at that site. It was a really a terrific job that went up relatively quickly. The second project most of you are probably already witnessing as you drive door uh, at Tice's Lane is the project on 110 Tice's, the area that used to be the Wonder Bread factory. That site uh, is well underway. Its uh, intention uh, is to build the project in phases. It is going to be a combination of retail and residential, and the project site encompasses approximately 24 acres of land. The deal that was struck through redevelopment and the township was for it to be built basically in thirds. The third that is closest to Tice's Lane is gonna be first floor retail with apartments above it. And that's already well underway uh, if you drive by. You can see that first floor has already uh, been constructed. The middle third is gonna be primarily townhouses and duplex apartments with its own clubhouse. And you could even see now that the foundations for some of those buildings have been laid, including the foundation for the clubhouse, and that project is well underway. The back third was deeded back to the township as part of our financial uh, arrangement with the developer. And that project and that site is exactly where the town is intending to build the municipal ice rink. That uh, land has already uh, been cleared, uh, and the deal that we struck with the developer uh, in return for its pilot or reduction in payment of taxes over a long period of time includes the following items. First, they're deeding back that property, and they're going to do all the site work that we need in order to build the rink. That includes the water lines, the sewer lines, the parking lot, the grading of the system, the stormwater management. Basically, the town's responsibility is for the building. The value alone of those site improvements in the land is a approximately in this market, well over $3 million in value. The builder also intends to build a loop road, which will basically connect Rene Road completely through the intersection and take you through that property and out through uh, the lows onto Route 18 and eliminate the road that sits presently behind Coles. The builder is also handling all of the stormwater management. They're gonna completely rework the, uh, the intersection at Rene Road 
Most importantly, they're going to be widening and repaving Tice's Lane all the way from their site, which will be labeled Legacy Place, all the way out to Route 18. All of that work is on the dime of the developer. And then finally, their tax appeal, which had been uh, sitting in the township, which they certainly had every intention and most likely would have won, um, simply because there was no uh, value uh, to any rent rolls. There was no doing business in those properties so they would have absolutely been entitled to a tax appeal they waived that and that's another two hundred thousand dollars in um, uh, costs that the town will not have to bear so we think that uh, that's going to be an exciting project and I hope that you uh, can drive by and start to see that kind of like a Phoenix coming out from underneath the ground but the most important project, the one that I told you from the start uh, is critical to this township, is the condition of these buildings on Route 18. Uh, people have come up and complained to me they were fearful of redevelopment. It's going to decrease the property values if there's people living here. But look at this. Is this increasing anybody's property value? This is a blighted site that clearly is in absolute need of redevelopment. And the thing that was holding this whole process up the, the, for most of the time was the fact that owners of many of these properties took the township to court to challenge the designation as an area in need of redevelopment. I mean, I don't know uh, what you think, but I, clear to me that the judge was completely correct in February. The courts finally came down with a decision that made it uh, unambiguous that this is clearly an area of need of redevelopment. The township has every right to decide what its future is and what its vision is for property that is in this poor shape. That it has every right to determine the worst areas and to use condemnation if necessary. So far we have not needed to do that. And that if you're an individual property owner and you happen to be lucky enough to survive in the middle of what around you is falling apart, you do not have the ability or the right to stop the process. And the judge felt that we were completely uh, fair, we were not capricious and arbitrary in how we picked these properties, and it was a clear, again, unambiguous support for the town's intention to move this into redevelopment and to get the project moving. With that, all of the uh, property owners have now been working with the developer and are, are acting in good faith and are looking to uh, come up with some sort of deal to get these projects moving along, which is why I'm here today, because we literally just signed within the last two weeks uh, a contract with the developer and the owner of the properties here, uh, especially the Gap in the Wiz, which is one property owner, uh, the old Office Max and the two uh, Mattress Cowboys and Carpet Dealer in the front right on Route 18 are quick to follow. but. This project, this site, this redevelopment, this is phase one. Uh, signing that contract means that by the summer, one should expect that these buildings come down. They will be demolished. Plans are already being put together. Some of these are gonna be up on this YouTube uh, that you could look at for some of the renderings of what intends, the builder intends to put here. And that plan will be in front of the planning board also this summer. Uh, we expect fully that if everything goes well, that perhaps by the end of the year or definitely the beginning of next year, this project will be off to a start. Phase two and three will be moving more towards the area where Lowman's little more northern site on Route 18 would be phase two and three of this project. But this is, you know, ground zero for phase one. And that's why I wanted to stand here today because we we're really excited to be able to finally announce to the residents that you could drive by and start to really see things happening here. I don't know about you, but I kind of drive by here and I've almost turned my head. I don't even want to look at what's on this side of the highway. But I think if you look at the pictures, look at what the builder intends to, to do here. Ed Russo is a top-notch builder, makes a high-quality product. And I think we're going to be really excited and proud uh, to have such high-end businesses and uh, residential units right here in town. Uh, I, and I think that uh, 
Uh, it's a great day for East Brunswick when this finally starts to happen because as most of you could see as you drive up and down the highway, it is becoming more and more of a entertainment corridor. The old retail that many of us remember is clearly not where the market is going. Most of us buy online. Um, most developers don't want to build retail. They recognize that that's not where the, the markets are. And if you're going to build retail, they want to make sure that there's people that are living around it. The last thing they want is stores that they cannot lease. So I think if you kind of look at the pictures of what we're doing, look at the video of what's being done on 110, the rink going up, the uh, rock and air here in town, Arugas, some of the restaurants that have moved in, it's clear that uh, Route 18 in the next couple of years is going to be a premier entertainment corridor and I can't wait uh, to be there with you to share each and every one of those uh, store openings and, uh, and building and groundbreaking ceremonies because that's a new day for the township and for all of us. And uh, I thank you for listening and keep your eyes open.